Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta, Paul here at Friendship Park in Penn Hills, Pennsylvania, just outside the city of Pittsburgh. Going to be running some antenna tests, uh, one very familiar antenna and an antenna I've never used. Uh, this will be good for you POTA soda activators out there. And uh, I'm really interested in seeing how this dipole is going to work versus my uh, KM4ACK um, NFED Halfwave, which is really an incredible antenna. So uh, stand by and they'll check out what we're about to do here. Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. Okay, so here's the KM4ECK uh, NFED Halfwave. I've uh, shrunk wrap a bit of it and uh, did uh, melt the actual wire uh, holder, but it works perfectly. And this is the uh, dipole. Um, and uh, I will put some information uh, in the video uh, at the bottom so that you can see who makes this. It's a, a very wonderful design and uh, we're going to be testing that out uh, and we're going to do a whisper test uh, using the IC705 uh, and I'm going to do a, a SWR test on both antennas to see uh, how they uh, compare on being multi-band um, wire antennas. Uh, we'll be throwing uh, a, <laughs> throw, uh, a throw ball or whatever they call these things uh, into a tree uh, probably 25-30 feet and uh, so we'll have the same exact height for both antennas and uh, we'll check out uh, how things work uh, in just a little bit. Let me get this wire, first wire up in the air. We're going to do the KM4ECK half wave, uh, NFED half wave that I built and that has worked incredibly well for me. Well, all right, uh, you can see uh, we've got the uh, KM04 ACK half wave uh, wire up here. Uh, going up to a tree. Love this yellow wire, so easy to see. And I've just run my SWR test here and I'll show you that and then we'll do our whisper test. Uh, I moved a little bit because I had to get out of get out into the shade here. Let's see if you can see this here. And okay, get the light on. There we are. Uh, not great, but I'm going to be testing on 1474 on uh, 20 meters. So uh, we'll uh, have the best SWR there, but uh, there's a lot of wind and that wire is moving around a lot. So that's probably why we're getting fluctuating SWR, but four, uh, 20 meters is going to be fine for our test. Okay, I'm trying to get out of the sun here. We are on 20 meters. I just tested the SWR. It's about 1.2 to 1. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to test this out here on uh, 20 meters um, uh, whisper. And uh, I will show you the results right afterwards. We're running a hotspot with my uh, cell phone so we can get good timing. Well, okay, everyone, uh, K2PMD back with the whisper results from 20 meters uh, with the KM4ACK uh, NFED half wave, uh, giving great SWR, only about 25 feet, but we're going to test the dipole at 25 feet as well, same exact height. Not that great, but who knows if it's the band conditions or not. Uh, I'm only running 5 watts, so that's another thing. If I was running... 25 or 50 watts, I'm sure I'd be getting out all across Europe, but it's a comparison. It's an equal comparison, 5 watts to 5 watts. Nothing's going to change as far as um, the radio and the output. So uh, that's what we got on our whisper for the KM4 ACK half, uh, NFED half wave. And uh, now we're going to test the, uh, uh, the dipole. All right, stand by, K2PMD. Okay, K2PMD back here, and we have now put the dipole up into the tree at the same height as the NFED half wave. You might not be able to see it from here. I'll try to zoom in here. There is a balance here, right? It comes with the antenna. Expect it's a one-to-one -one balance. And it is an off-center fed dipole. I didn't mention that at the beginning. Uh, so one side is shorter than the other. Here's the long side. Uh, on this, uh, I don't know if this is going east to west, I don't have my compass with me, but I'm sure Whisper will tell me where it's going once we do our Whisper test. And here's the short end. You can see it's not even enough to come down to the ground on this side. Uh, 
so try to do it as equal as possible I have that uh, angle 60 degrees or so Look at those trees moving that's got to be a problem but we'll do the SWR test now and uh, we'll check out how this antenna does across uh, 40 20 15 and 10. okay uh, k2 pmd back here doing the SWR test uh, not as good as the uh, km4 ACK uh, definitely not working on um, 15 and 3 to 1 on 20. I'm going to run it um, like that. I don't have time to adjust the lengths of this wire. And the only one that really is usable is 10 and, and 7. Uh, but they're, none of them are under 2.1. Uh, I wonder if I got the ends up higher, if that would help. Obviously, I'm in an inverted V situation. Uh, but, yeah, this is the uh, the test of the antenna, the way it is, uh, and the way I've set it up. So, of course, uh, there are thousands of variables, but this is the variable I'm working with. K2PMD will run this whisper at 3.1. Hopefully, we don't hurt the radio. I don't think we will. Um, and... Uh, the finals will survive a quick whisper test. K2PMD, be back in a second. So uh, it's been an interesting experiment so far. If uh, those of you are watching and have used this antenna before, uh, leave some comments on the uh, in the comments section about what to do with this antenna. That really should be resonant, at least, uh, well, not resonant, but uh, a match on 40 um uh, and 20 because I use an off-center fed dipole at home uh, in the shack and um, I uh, usually have very good results especially on 40 and 20. I can tune that sucker up on 80. So uh, let's take a look at the results here on Whisper. You can see the old results from uh, the previous Whisper. Uh, we're gonna update it again here take a look at what this guy did with a really bad SWR rate um, take a look at that here in a second get a little bigger and I gotta tell you it's not that much different uh, I'm not looking at them side by side of course we got the Alaska station in there KL7L but nothing into Europe. Uh, looks like it is running east to west. But anyway, this was a pretty interesting experiment. I hope uh, it was somewhat beneficial to you. Uh, comments in the comment sections, please. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta.